Hello, I would like to present and review some major updates which were recently released for our flagman, hybrid alarm system SM384 and also for utility tool software and elder security mobile app. These updates will help to improve your practical habits with the alarm system. First, let's talk about new utility tool features. Output section has been moved to the main menu on the left. This should help you to find and use it without any additional effort. From now on, there are two available types for your preferred output. Switch type output, which allows to turn the selected output on and off. And pulse type output, which has two actions, pulse on output and pulse off output dedicated to instantly turn an output on or off for a determined time period and automatically turn it back on or off again when the time period expires. Please select the output type with a clear action purpose because you will not be able to change it after the automated control scenario is set. If the selected output has already been used in another automated control scenario or controlled by a wireless key fob, then you will have to confirm the change of the output type via Elder's Utility tool. After the output change is confirmed, all the previous automated controls will be deleted. Just a quick reminder, some outputs that are used only for automated actions can be hidden in Elder Security app or on keypads by turning off this parameter. This way we will protect our clients from accidental actions. The next topic is Home Automation section. Here we will create a new automated control scenario. Today we offer you two times more of automated control possibilities. 32 output control and 16 system control scenarios. 32 schedules and 16 additional condition options. You can also see the number of remaining controls under every output automation type. Every individual output will show you only those control actions related to the same output type. For example, if you select the C1 output that is set to a switch type, you will be able only to turn on or off and to switch it on or off for a determined time. Meanwhile, if you select the C2 output that is set as a pulse on type, then it will be able to complete this action only. Here, we have created new system control actions. Arm stay and disarm from stay, which are different actions if we compare these two with a full arm disarm action. Fire alarm begins and fire alarm ends. Now you don't need to create additional automated scenarios for these events if multiple fire type zones are present. And to make our automation even better, we offer you multi-selection of the partitions for automated control actions. Keep in mind that if you will select more than one partition, the automated control action will be completed only if state of all selected partitions will be valid. The system has been offering another useful function, which you probably didn't know about. It is named Arm Disarm by Zone. In order to raise the attention, we moved this function to a more visible place. Now it's in automated system controls, and you can create a total of four Arm Disarm by Zone actions. Let's move on and check the Peripheral Devices section, which has a subsection named Other. Here you will find yet another important thing, possibility to configure EKB3, EKB3 W and EWKB4 keypads LED indicator settings. One thing you must remember is that these keypad settings are common for all of the system's keypads. This latest alarm system update will bring more joy to EKB2 keypad owners. A brand new function called Quick Control will allow to complete automatic control actions with a single touch of a button. The system gives an opportunity 
to add up to 10 different automated control actions. All you have to do is to assign preferred actions to each of 10 available EHB2 buttons, numbered from 0 to 9. By pressing and holding the pre-configured button, you will be able to instantly arm the system or arm it with the exit delay countdown or arm in stay mode as well as to turn the preferred output on and off toggle its status and either turn on or turn off your output for the determined time another short reminder you may also choose to arm only one or a couple of separate partitions meanwhile Automated output control actions will be shown in a proper list of all outputs, filtered by their type. Finally, one more important change has been made in our mobile LD security app. From now, in automation section you will find two types of animated buttons. A sliding button type, the previous type, and a pushable button type, the new pulse type, designed specially for pulse on output and pulse off output control actions. We kindly appreciate your interest in security solutions made by Eldis. Please follow us in social networks, get the latest news while we prepare more product video reviews for you.